Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to review the Dip Bar by Rogue. This one is for the 3x3 rack, but it also exists for the 4x4. I'm not certain if they are the same, but I would wager that they are. So the way this works, you're going to be given a pin. That pin goes into the side holes of the rack and also the, the holes from behind. So you can put this wherever the pin fits. But because of the size of it, it's only going to be on the wider side of your rack. So the way this works is you're basically going to put it in and then with your pin, you're going to go to the side and you're going to push so that it sticks inside the hole and it's firmly stuck to the rack. So, several things about this. One, I really do not like the handles. I think they're, they fall right in the awkward range where they're not small enough and they're not big enough. If they were bigger, you could just go with a, a thumbless grip and it would be very comfortable. And if they were small enough, you could just wrap your hand. But they're right in the middle where thumbless is going to be unstable and full grip is going to be uncomfortable on the wrist. So personally, I found a loophole around it. I just put some grips on it and I'm going to show you. So basically any type of fat grips, you can put them on like this. And that's going to make them just wide enough so that they, they are comfortable to grab. So when they're like this, you can go thumbless or you can wrap the thumb around and you don't have to actually grip the bar. You can just rest your hand on it. For me, it's much more comfortable. Second thing I don't like about this bar, the angle of the arms. For me, for my build, the most comfortable bars are the ones who are parallel. This angle, you can see when you put your hands, if you look at my shoulders, they are internally rotated. This is no good. It doesn't feel good on the shoulders at all. And if you try and go too deep, it's going to hurt, at least for me. Um, I know that some people like to do uh, Gironda uh, dips from Vince Gironda like this. Uh, personally, my shoulders just can't take it. So the angle of the, the bars forces me to use a slingshot to deload at the bottom and to save my shoulders, basically. So that's the second thing that I don't like. Third thing I'm going to show you, it's quite evident. All right, that's just from standing on it. It's not stable. And I mean, you can't really blame the bar. It's more the fact that it's put on a rack, but this rack is bolted deep within concrete and it still shakes. It's not dangerous, but it's not the most stable. And of course, the more you rep, the more it shakes. And I'm only 210 pounds. So someone who's heavier, you might have something quite dangerous on your hands. Um, the welding is fairly good quality. There's no way it's going to break. The pin fits well. It won't break. The paint and all that stuff, I don't really care about aesthetics. The paint does chip away, even if you don't bump it or anything, it just degrades by itself. Uh, and the price is reasonable, I think it's 80 to 100 bucks. So all in all, I would say that if you're the type of person who does dips once in a while, and who has a good mastery of them, it's a good buy. But if you're a calisthenic bro and dips are your life, don't buy this. It's a bad dip bar. And especially if you're going to do weighted dips, do not buy this. You're going to destroy your shoulders. So that's pretty much that for that review. It's one of the few products of Rogue that I don't like. I wouldn't recommend to people. If you have any questions about the product, please let me know in the comments and I would be very happy to help you navigate around it. Have a good day.